Alright, so we want to count the number of random walks that start at i. Right, so x equals i, and so we start here, and we end at x equals j. Right. And we take a time t. Time t. Right, so visually this might look like this. Okay, so we have t here, and here's i, c, and j. Right. And we have our little random walker starting here at i, and they take a walk. Okay, then I'll stylize a little bit. All right, so they're going to wander around. And then it's, um, this is time, I should say. This is t. This is zero. So eventually they have to end up here. So that one would have to do something like this. Right, boom, boom, boom. All right, so to get from i to j, the, uh, they have to have a displacement of j minus i, right? Okay, and of course they take t steps. So we know these things. So let's call p equal to the number of positive steps, and n equal to the number of negative steps. Then we have this, we have p plus n has to equal t, right? That's the total number of steps. And we have the p minus n, right? So the number of positive steps minus the number of negative steps, which gives you, right, so the p times plus 1, n times minus 1. So you could write it like this if you like, p times plus 1 plus n times minus 1, okay? This has to equal the displacement, j minus i. All right? And from this you can solve, so the idea then is solve for uh, p and n. It's not hard. Two little linear equations there. And then the realization is that we can arrange those positive steps um, or negative and negative steps in any way we like, right? So you have to have p positive steps to get there, say, um, which you solve for here, right? So let's say <coughs> that's some number we figured out, then those positive steps could be all to start with, right? So it could be, could be this, all positive, and then all negative, um, or it could be at the end, or in all sorts of ways, right? So we have to choose the slots where we put the positive ones. So it becomes t choose p equals the number of possible random walks. So figure this out, put it in here. It has to, of course, equal just the structure of these things. It's the number of, um, it's t choose the number of uh, negative steps as well, because you can think about putting the negative ones in as well. All right, so you should see that either way is fine. That should do it.